The purpose of this video is to troubleshoot when you're having trouble setting up a Mocha network. A Mocha network is a way to use your existing cable wires in your house to get internet to devices where it's not practical to use Wi-Fi or where there has to be a faster connection between devices. This video assumes that you have a setup like mine where you have a utility closet which has your cable modem and your router and your incoming cable wires into the house. If you have a different setup than mine, for instance, if you have your cable modem and your router in the same room as you have your television or your TiVo or your DVR, this video will not apply. The first thing that you want to do is buy some products. You're going to need to have a Mocha adapter such as the one that I'm showing you here on your screen. I will also provide a link. An alternative if you're uh, setting up a Mocha network for a TiVo and TiVo Minis or if you just like the TiVo brand you can also buy a TiVo Bridge but I prefer the Action Tech uh, brand but I'll, I will provide links for both of these. Another thing that you will need is a point of entry filter. I'll provide a link for this as well. The first step in setting up your Mocha network is to set up your Mocha adapter as shown in this picture, and I will walk you through it. You want to unscrew the cable that's going into your cable modem, and you want to take that cable and plug it into the coaxial cable in on your Mocha adapter. Then take another cable and go from the, the coaxial out, which might say TV out, into your cable modem. I know that seems a little strange, but that's the way that the setup has to be. The next step uh, is to keep your cable modem plugged into your routum as usual, but you also want to connect the Ethernet port from your Mocha adapter into one of the other Ethernet ports on your router. The next step is you want to install your point of entry filter, your PoE filter, for your Mocha network. If you have a simple setup, so this is not like mine, but if you have a simple setup where you just have a few cable, cable wires in your house, so here's the cable wire that's coming from outside of your house. It's going to a splitter, and then off of the splitter, one of these wires leads to your cable modem. If you have a setup that looks like this, then at the point where you have this splitter, you want to disconnect it from the cable wire coming into your house, put the point of entry filter in between that wire and your splitter, and you should be good to go. You should uh, have a... Uh, Mocha adapted, a Mocha enabled uh, network for your home. When you put another Mocha enabled device um, on your network, uh, you should be able to um, use the internet now uh, through that uh, Mocha enabled device through your cable wires. And that's good. It's very fast. It's very nice. I should mention that what the PoE filter is doing. This is making it so that the internet network that you've enabled through your cable wires won't leak out of your house and that uh, your your neighbor's internet traffic won't leak through the cable wires into your house. So it's very important to have a point of entry filter. But what if you don't have that idealized setup that so many of the other videos about Mocha networks have on YouTube or that the diagrams show? What if you have a setup that looks crazy like mine? Well, here's what, uh, here's what you do. The, the, this box that you see here is called an amplifier. And this is used when the cable signal coming into your house is too weak, and it's used to amplify the cable signal. If you have an amplifier, here's the important thing to note. You need to have the line that's going into your cable modem coming out from one of these uh, lines here uh, uh, in the amplifier. 
So the Mocha network will only work within the amplifier. Now, uh, some may comment in the notes that, oh, well, there's Mocha compliant amplifiers where the signal can travel back and forth across the amplifier. Uh, but uh, that's not always the case. And I found that uh, the Mocha signal could not get across my amplifier, even without the point of entry filter. Uh, so uh, if you're having trouble getting your Mocha network to work, you're going to want to make sure that all the wires that you want to network uh, uh, are coming off of the amplifier and not earlier on um, in your wires. And this means that one of these wires that's on your amp in your amplifier has to go into your cable modem. And you can split the signals coming off of these amplifiers too. So if you don't have enough wires here, you can attach a splitter and split the signal uh, coming off of uh, off of one of these wires as as you need. But that's the most important thing to troubleshoot your Mocha network is make sure that the wire that that um, connects to your um, your Mocha adapter and your cable modem is coming off of uh, uh, off of the amplifier and not earlier on in your chain. Then what you do is the the line into your amplifier. That's where you attach your point of entry filter. And with these steps, you should now be able to establish a Mocha network in your home. Uh, if you were like me, the thing that was messing up your Mocha network was this amplifier. And what probably was happening is you had the wire that was going to your cable modem and to your Mocha adapter that was separate from this amplifier uh, set of wires. But you need to make sure that the wire that's going to your Mocha adapter and your cable modem is here within the amplifier. And uh, if you don't have enough wires, what you can do is use a splitter and split the signal coming off of one of these wires, uh, it doesn't matter which one, um, off of uh, uh, the amplifier, and then add another cable wire down uh, to connect to your Mocha adapter and your cable modem. I hope this helps, and uh, have fun setting up your Mocha network.